we've been pretty lucky that we've been able to include lots of new stuff into this uh, this building, which we think is pretty fun. Because not only do you get the really neat exterior of the building, which hopefully you can see we've introduced the uh, sand blue back into production. So we've got some nice bricks there. We actually introduced the 1x1, one 1x2, by one, one by 1x4, and 1x6 bricks, which is really cool, cool for people that want to build other things. Uh, we brought back a nice old windshield. This is from like 1980 sets, and it's going to make a lot of people smile, I think. And then we've got lots of new flowers and stuff that you can see on the front here uh, in lots of different colors. But uh, the exterior is uh, one thing, but then we're really happy that we've also been able to include uh, some fun things on the inside. Because, of course, like the other modulars, the building separates into six pieces. And you can see on the inside, we actually have a spiral staircase now. And when we did the uh, Grand Emporium, we thought it was pretty fun doing the escalator and trying something new. And then we got a little more crazy with this one and decided to go spiral. Uh, the other nice thing on the other building, which also separates into different pieces, is on the ground floor we have uh, a staircase. And of course the people on the street are going to get knocked over. But you can see we have a movable staircase. And that's because these buildings are a bit smaller on the inside because there's two of them. But we wanted to make sure that you had plenty of accessibility to get at the play. And that's also another reason for the spiral staircases because it can really give you a lot more place space on the inside. And then there's a little hidden secret in this building, which I have to show off which is we have this little uh, doorway here that can open up and that actually gives you access to these nice cellar doors on the back side, which is also something we don't normally get to do. And that's only because this building is actually a bit higher off the street, so you have that nice crawl space underneath, which we think is pretty fun to play with. So uh, lots of fun details to talk about. I think one of the, uh, the interesting thing talking about the modular buildings is talking to people out there in the community that are always asking me, where are they from? Is it uh, more French, more European, more American? Obviously things like the firehouse come across very American, probably because of the American flag. But uh, if you go to the cafe corner, it was quite entertaining because we didn't really build it with a particular place in mind. Um, where the people in America think it's more New Orleans or Boston, people in Europe think it's more French. So we actually didn't have any particular place in mind. And that's kind of true to this one as well. Uh, it probably has some cues that you might find from Amsterdam, where it's got the tall, slender buildings, but then also be quite at home in America if you go to one of the West Coast uh, cities or something like that. But uh, pretty much people can make, for, make of it whatever they like, because in the end, it's their town. So when it comes to what am I most proud of uh, with this model, I actually have to say it's not so specific to this model, rather than the whole modular line. I mean, to think of how many amazing things that the fans are building out there. It's amazing we've been able to make a sixth modular building and hopefully a sixth one that still surprises them with lots of new building experiences, lots of details, some new colors, things like that. Um, but in the end, I think the greatest challenge is just trying to keep you guys surprised and trying to keep giving you something new. And hopefully this delivers on that.